So with VMware Converter, there's a couple cool things that we could do. We could convert physical servers to virtual machines, either a VMware infrastructure or VMware workstation systems. We could convert virtual machines to virtual machines and, and then, uh, of, of course, configure those virtual machines. So let's jump into our Plab VC01 box and we're going to actually download the uh, software. Let's go ahead and launch our browser. And let's jump into our intranet site. So we have the tools page displayed. We're going to click on installation files. Let's scroll down to VMware. Click on VCP DC V6 and we'll download the VMware converter. We're going to opt for a local installation to use as a standalone machine. And click finish. And there you have it. This is the VMware vCenter converter standalone. Now let's jump into our Plab DC01 box. Open up Windows Explorer. We're going to go to the C drive and create a folder called Convert. Now let's right mouse click on it and give it some permission. Share with specific people. And we just want to ensure that the administrator has read-write permissions. We'll go ahead and click Share. So now we see its network address is Plab DC01 Convert. Let's jump back into Plab VC01. Let's click on Convert Virtual Machine. And we'll go ahead and enter the credentials for our source machine. Click Next. So right here we got a failure to connect and what's causing that problem is Plab PPA probably has a firewall that's blocking it so let's let's jump into that box. Let's go into the Windows Firewall on Plab PPA here. All right, so I don't have time to look for, for the rules here, so I'm just going to go into Network and, and Sharing Center, Windows Firewall, and we'll just turn off the firewall um, temporarily.
Now let's jump back into Plab VC and we'll retry. So we were successful in communicating with our Plab PP01 box, the vCenter converter standalone deployment is showing and we're just going to leave it set to automatic and we'll click yes Let's go ahead and enter the information for the destination system. Remember our path. All filled out, let's click next. Here's our setup parameters, let's go ahead and click next. And finish. As you can see here, here's the status. All right, so we're showing our conversion process is completed. Let's jump into our PLAB DC01 box. Open up the C drive where the file was to be created. And it was called C convert. And there you have it virtual machine file was created you have a VMX and a VMDK let's click convert virtual machine from the sources drop down select VMware workstation or other VMware virtual machine enter the location of the virtual machine you're wanting to convert go ahead and click next on the destination here we need to change the name of our second virtual machine to plab dmo2 go ahead and click next now, while here on the options page, I'm gonna revisit a few things that we had to review on task three, modifying server resource during conversion. So for example, on the advanced options, click on edit, and we'll select install VMware tools on destination virtual machine and customize guest preferences on virtual machine. Go ahead and click next. And finish. I'll pause while the second machine is getting built. All right, so that task is complete. Plab DMO2 is complete. Let's move on to task five. Let's go ahead and click on convert virtual machine, convert machine. On the source page, ensure that it is selected to VMware workstation or other VMware virtual machine. And let's go ahead and enter our path. Click next.
on the destination conversion page select the drop down and select VMware infrastructure virtual machine and enter the server details and click next so here on our destination machine we want to make sure that London is selected then click next on the PLAB ESX01 page here for our data store let's click the drop down and select VMF S3 volume and click next On the conversion page, data to copy shows an X showing an error. Let's click on edit. From the file type over here in the right pane, let's select thin. Then click next. And finally finish. All right. So our third box is being built as we speak. Let's go ahead and minimize the vCenter converter standalone. And we're going to open up our vSphere client. Let's log in. Oops, I think I forgot a character on the password. Let's navigate to hosts and clusters. And here you see the newly created VM that is added to PLAB ESX01, PLAB DM practicelabs.com be sure to like comment and subscribe also share the video and thank you for watching